Okay, well, we're here today to do our first Jed experiment. We're actually, uh, it's our own raising of the Jed. Uh, Harun, Avian here, and myself, were, uh, we got together when I first arrived here in Cairo and laid out the plans to create a Jed pillar to see the reaction of the, of the materials that the ancients used to accumulate energy via the resonance project or the radiant energy project that we're doing here. So what we have is we have the live stream. This is a special research device that I brought. And uh, Harun actually had this, uh, the base shaft or the base column is made out of limestone. And so what we're going to do is we're going to place that on top of the emitter. Now again, as we all perceive, this is considered a non-conductive element. And uh, so what we decided, we decided to do uh, basalt as the insulator or as the activator. We're, we're still deciding on what's going to happen here. Now, just so you know, there's no metal in this whatsoever. This is actually considered non-conductive natural elements. And the basalt, very difficult rings to fabricate, but these guys are geniuses here, so they pulled it off very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this spacer, and then we're going to add red granite as one of the either, we call it the antennas, or the, uh, the plates. So we're going to go ahead and start assembling it now and putting it together. And so we're gonna, what we're going to do here now is we're going to create the backbone of Osiris. So while doing a combination of elements here, you're going to see the jet is going to start taking form. And then what we'll do is we'll actually energize it and actually uh, feel what type of energy is actually going to be emitting. This is the first time we're doing it. We haven't done it uh, before the camera started rolling, so I'm kind of excited. I think a lot of you will be excited to actually see a jet coming into form in its actual three dimensions. I know a few of you back in the States are kind of waiting patiently to see this. So if everything goes well, we should have a tremendous amount of energy that emits from this pillar itself. Does it fit? Yeah, okay, good. So that's the cap. So now we have the completed jed at this point in time. So what we'll do is we'll do a slow introduction and power up the unit here. I'm going to start it from a low setting. Yeah, it's already very strong. I'm very close to it. So it's a very powerful field it is emitting. Okay, so we're up to optimum energy. Now, when we start, it should be very interesting for us to see what happens when we interact with the limestone. So as you can see, energy is emitting from the limestone. Now we'll look at the basalt. Okay, we'll look at the granite. Ah, so the, the granites are act, working as an absorber. Now the technology just amplified, moved up to a higher resonance. Feel the energy from it though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the sound. sound. Well, the sound, but also the feel that it's mm -hmm. generating. You can actually almost, if we look through the, between the two plates, you can actually, I can almost see like a warbling in the mm -hmm. energy field. Mm -hmm. So, we're using a small conductor at this point in time. I don't know if we want to use that. That might be a little strong to our touch, but we'll try it anyway. So this is going to be just a, we'll, we'll try it at the least. As you can hear when we get close to it, listen to the change. So that's energy attracting to the natural element. It's actually creating an oscillation right here. So there's an audible tone. So now if we go ahead and connect to it. So let's look at the limestone. Limestone is very loud, like right out here. So you can hear the resonance is actually fairly loud in the limestone. And we'll probably get a very large discharge. Yeah. Very large discharge of energy from the lime. Let's check for the salt. So in between the two elements is very, very loud. Uh, 
considerable amount of energy discharging through the basalt. Let's try it at the top. fluctuation in the field itself. Let's turn it up a little bit. See how well we can actually Wow, so we're getting a lot more amplification from the from the granite now. amount of energy buildup. Yeah. And I think the 